Hey everybody, Ryan Kirby here, and today we're gonna to talk about how antlers grow throughout the year. As a wildlife artist and deer hunter, I spend a lot of time looking at antlers, whether I'm painting them in my studio or looking through my binos from a deer stand. And today we're gonna to look at how their annual growth cycle occurs and share a few facts about antlers you may not know. This video isn't sponsored, but supported by passionate outdoor men and women like you who purchase my art. For the past year, I've worked hard to produce the art and information in my new print, The Scoring and Field Judging of the Whitetailed Buck. So thank you for the support, and let's dive in. An antler all starts with the pedicle. Antlers grow from the top of pedicles, which are permanent bumps on the deer's skull that begin forming in the fetus. The size and health of the pedicle influences the size and shape of the antler it produces. Additionally, an injury to the pedicle can cause permanent non-typical traits to form on that deer's antler for the rest of its life. Whitetail antlers are the fastest growing bones on the planet. Some can grow over two inches in a single day. It's remarkable what they can grow into in just a period of a few short months. Changes in the photo period throughout the year affect the buck's hormones, primarily testosterone. Peaks and valleys in a buck's testosterone are what trigger all his major antler developments throughout the year, from the first sign of growth to the shedding of his velvet to the shedding of his antler in winter. Here's what this looks like month to month. In March, increasing photo period triggers the hormones that jumpstart new antler growth. In April, antlers begin to grow from their tips rather than the base and start as cartilage, then calcify into bone. In May, bucks consume new vegetation with spring green up, a much needed protein boost. June, points begin to branch off the main beam, appearing as large, dark, bulbous forms at the tips. In July is when the buck sees his most dramatic antler growth. His rack will begin fully formed by mid-August. In August, bucks will experience a seasonal osteoporosis, actually pulling minerals from their skeleton and devoting them to their hardening antlers to help them develop. In September, bucks will rub off their velvet on trees, revealing hard antler in a matter of hours. In October, when rubbing, a buck's forehead gland leaves scent on the exposed cambium layer that contains information about his identity. In November, antlers really earn their keep during the rut, used for fighting off rivals for highly contested breeding rights. December in the post-rut will show lots of bucks with broken points. Roughly half of all bucks will break points off, with the most common being a brow tine or a G3. January's harsh winter weather, an injury, or severe stress can sometimes cause a buck to drop his antlers early. In February, a drop in testosterone causes the antler to finally separate from the skull. Most of the antlers will fall during this time. One interesting characteristic of antlers is their color. Research has shown that a buck's rack color is influenced by the amount of oxidized blood on them at the time of velvet shed, as well as the type and volume of trees that they rub. Older bucks often have darker racks due to their increased rubbing activity. I hope you find this art and information helpful and it gives you a new appreciation for antlers this season. Best of luck to you this fall and be sure to check out ryankirby.com for more art and information coming out all the time. We appreciate you being here.